So we're going to do three things in this video. The first thing we're going to look at um, is what iCloud actually is um, and explain uh, how it's going to benefit you, show you how to set it up and then uh, finally uh, I'm going to show you how it works in, in real life, in real practice. But before we do that, let's just have a look at what it used to be like in the olden days, two days ago were the olden days. Um, and when you have your, your PC uh, or your Mac and you have your iPhone, uh, I hope you like the drawings here, um, there was a simple two-way synchronization and you could also do the same with your iPad, you'd unplug your iPhone and you'd plug it into your iPad and there'll be a two-way synchronization of contacts, of calendars, uh, of email, um, uh, photos, that, that sort of thing. Um, however, everything has now changed um, very much for the better iOS 5, I'm not going to be able to draw a very good iCloud I'm afraid, um, but iCloud is now something which sits in the middle. Um, you no longer need leads once this is all set up, which is obviously very, very good news. Um, and if we just use these symbols to indicate wireless, okay. Uh, so if you've now got your PC here, what happens is you, once it's set up correctly, and I'll show you this in a second. Um, and specifically, let's just look at Outlook. Uh, that's what this video is all about. Um, uh, once you set it up correctly, you are effectively putting your uh, contacts, your appointments, uh, your, uh, your calendar, uh, your tasks uh, into the cloud. Okay. So it's stored centrally, and you have five gigabytes of storage completely free from Apple so thank you very much indeed Apple um, in addition it can also send it back it's a two-way synchronization but it's completely seamless so what you can then also do is sync your other devices as well so your iPhone and your iPad will all contain the same data which is in the cloud if you make a change over here it will appear here and then in seconds and I can again prove this in a moment it will appear here and it will appear here in the same way if you delete that it will get deleted here and it will get deleted here again within seconds so there are no cables everything is synchronized within the cloud uh, within iCloud um, and uh, it's seamlessly pushed out to all devices um, that you own and which is set up correctly so hopefully that explains the power of iCloud and what it can actually do for you. Um, what we're going to do now is go onto the screen cam and take a look at how to actually set up uh, this device here um, so that it syncs correctly. So now I've explained the concept of iCloud and how it works, let's now take a look at how to set it up on your PC and get Outlook connected up. Um, it's uh, all explained very nicely uh, on the Apple website uh, in terms of what it's all about. So uh, apple.com slash iCloud. Um, and um, it does all the usual things for you here. Um, what you then need to do is to scroll down and click on the Get Started with iCloud um, button and then uh, if you keep scrolling down set up your cloud on your, your iCloud on your PC. So here we go, we click this link here um, and then so the first thing you need to do is to actually download the iCloud control panel. It's about uh, 38 megs. Uh, it takes you to a support page. Click on the download button um, and download and install it. Um, and once you have installed it, um, it will look something like this. It runs in the system tray uh, just down uh, on the bottom right hand corner of your uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Um, PC. This will not work on Windows XP, just so you know. Um, so if you have an older machine, don't get too excited about this. Um, what you then do is you then choose uh, what you want to have set up um, with uh, iCloud uh, and to have synced into the cloud. So you can choose um, your Outlook contacts, uh, your calendars. If you have multiple calendars um, within Outlook, it will give you the option to choose which ones you actually want to have synced up. Um, notice also you can sync your bookmarks as well, uh, which is a very nice touch because that's always been missing. It's always been a bit cumbersome uh, to do that um, So um, uh, until now. Uh, you hit the apply button and uh, you'll then see, I've already done this so I can't show it to you, you'll then see everything in a, in a bar uploading um, into the cloud. Um, and um, and so then that is your data then stored. If you then open Outlook, and you should make sure that Outlook is closed throughout that whole process, 
Um, you will then find, you've got your normal calendar here, I'm trying as hard as I can to protect my personal data here, uh, your normal Outlook calendar, um, which is here. But underneath that, you'll notice iCloud. Um, and if you, um, you can then choose to tick on uh, home, work, calendar, and, and, and all that sort of stuff. But if you, if you just uh, tick the first uh, calendar button, um, this is now the calendar which is stored in the cloud. Um, and if I if I just quickly scroll through, you can see um, that there is data now in there, which certainly wasn't there uh, before. Um, so if we then just take a look at uh, Christmas Day, okay, to prove how amazing this is and what it's all about, I'm now going to go into um, iCloud itself. Okay, so if you go to iCloud.com, and once you've logged in, you can then see. Um, all of your data that you currently got stored in the cloud and my guess is over time there will be more of these icons which will come available um, obviously you can see it's uh, it looks uh, very very similar to the iOS 5 um, interface and the little app buttons there um, now I'm going to go into the calendar um, and I'm going to go into Christmas Day so again this looks like a, a very similar representation um, of, of what you see on an iPad or an iPhone and note that you can select week and month and, and list views and so on um, and what I'm now going to do, so if I was out and about, let's put this into context, if I was out and about and I didn't have my iPhone with me for whatever reason, um, or if I was in the office and I didn't have my iPhone with me for any reason, and I wanted just to put a, an appointment um, in the calendar, um, you see we have nothing here on Christmas Day. At the minute, I'm just going to click and drag, and I'm just going to add an appointment. I have to say, it's absolutely lovely the way it does that. So I'm just literally clicking let go, drag, it's already highlighted the box so you can just um, over type it and then hit return uh, it just works very very nicely now what I'm now going to do in real time I'm now going to go into Outlook can you now see those appointments have just appeared automatically in Outlook okay so I'm in the web interface let's just go back to that if I now delete that appointment by clicking on it and go straight back here to Outlook in real time let's just see how, how long it takes for that appointment to disappear um, there we go there's no camera trickery involved I did not pause the recording uh, simply extraordinary and what you'll also find uh, I'm struggling to show you this easily uh, on my iPhone exactly the same thing has just happened it's as simple as that so we now have syncing across um, devices um, uh, whether it be your um, uh, um, appointments, whether it be your contacts, um, all through iCloud. Simply genius, it works. Go and set it up today.